Now today I'll be installing the passenger side. That's Ryan. Yeah. What's up guys, I'm back with another video. So the last video that I put up, which I'll link right up here, was the unboxing of the Pro Car seat. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, or you have any questions about the seat itself, definitely check out that, that video. I did a pretty good overview of it. If you have any questions, you can ask me on Instagram or in the comments. Um, so in that last video, I was talking about getting some more parts for the car, so everything else came in. So I have the seat bracket right here, and the harnesses are inside the garage. So we are going to be installing the seat today for the passenger side. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to take out the OEM seat and how to replace with a proper seat bracket. This one is a Sparco seat bracket. I'm also going to show you guys how to put in a five or six point harness and regardless of whether or not you have a harness bar I'll show you guys how to do that because I only recently got the half cage with the roll bar on it so I used to run a different way. Um, it kind of varies between cars but hopefully this will help you guys out. So I am obviously going to be doing this in my car which is a 2006 to 2011 Civic Si. Um, if you don't have this car, you could probably use some of the knowledge from this video into your own car. Uh, but if you do have a Civic, then definitely pay attention. I'm going to show you step by step how to get the uh, seats in and out. So I'm going to be putting the bracket in on the passenger side, and it's going to be the exact same way to be doing the driver's side if you guys are only going to be doing a driver's. Um, I've already had my driver's seat in for a while, so I'm going to leave that one, and I'm just going to put the passenger side bracket in and stuff. First off, you're going to want to take all your floor mats out and everything. You want to get your back seat clear so you can get to the bolts that are going to be right down over here and there are going to be two bolts that are going to be right up in the front. But you want to be able to get to these bolts right back here. There's one here and one here. This is what's going to hold the actual slider of the seat to the ground. And then there's going to be two more right up front here and here that go actually 90 degrees. The first two bolts you're going to want to take out are going to be these two right here and right here. They're both 14 millimeter. I'm pretty sure the ones up front are going to be 14 millimeter as well. So you're just going to break these two loose. They shouldn't be too hard to do. And then I'll come back when I get to the front. Fuck, boy. <laughs> I forgot to mention that this piece is going to be in the way. Um, this is going to be right on top of here. There's going to be one on each side. You could just pry these off. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just going to clip right on. Uh, I got both of these bolts out and now you want to keep these to the side because you're going to reuse them for the bracket itself. So this is kind of awkward for me to film with the big DSLR, but right here you can see one bolt and the other one's going to be right here. There's nothing covering these. Um, these are also going to be 14 millimeters, so I'm just going to take these out. I'm also going to take the camera out so I could do this and not worry about breaking it. So the one thing that's going to be different about doing the passenger side versus doing the driver side is that on the passenger side for the Civic, the seatbelt actually attaches to the seat itself versus the driver side. This is actually attached closer to the B pillar itself. Um, so you'll just have to take this one extra bolt out. Um, this one is also a 14. So, so far everything, the two up front, the two in the rear, and this one right here are all 14s. Super easy to do. And uh, we're going to be replacing this and putting it back so that way I could still use the stock seat belt if I want to for the passenger side. So the bolt actually stays inside of the piece itself, so you don't have to worry about dropping this or needing to replace it or anything. Uh, this is always going to stay the same. What you want to gonna do? What? What you want to gonna do? What? You just blowing from stupid town. But what you're gonna want to do next is actually pull up the lever right here and crunch the seat as much as you can, uh, as much as you can. So you're gonna have to remove the wires that are underneath the seat for the seat belt and the airbag and everything. So this is what the underneath of the seat looks like. You have these two yellow clips and these two white clips right here. Um, so these are all the sensors for the airbag and the, the uh, seatbelt light. Okay. So I'm just going to remove all of these right now just so that way uh, I can do it with two hands. It's kind of awkward to do one handed. So these two right here are actually going to be what attach to the seatbelt on the side. So if you do want to keep your seatbelt uh, on the bracket, you're going to want to take these two off, which I think I'm going to do. So I'm just going to have to break these pieces off of these little plastic clips right here. So I just pulled the seat out of the car. Uh, I didn't really have room to record between the car and the trailer and stuff like that. I didn't want to scratch anything. So, um, I mean, it was just me picking this up. It wasn't too technically involved. So uh, what's next is I'm going to take this one bolt out right down here for the seatbelt itself because I'm going to reuse it. And then um, that's going to be a 14. And then we're going to be putting the Sparkle bracket in on the passenger side. 
So with this bracket, there's going to be these two holes right here and those two holes back there. Um, unfortunately, there aren't another set of holes right here. Uh, so for me, the bracket is just short of hitting both. So you can see I'm going to have to just drill a hole right here because that one's in the back. So I'm just going to do that really quick. So this is one of the bolts I'm going to be using to keep this in place. So obviously I need to get this hole right here so I'm just going to drill straight through. It's okay if it's a little off because these are like the oval shaped holes so I could slide it back and forth to correct it. Um, I just have to make sure that it is straight though. Okay, so I just put the six point through. So if you guys have a six point or a five point, this is one way that you guys can secure it to the bracket itself. So it comes with these little tiny, you could throw these on the bolt right here if you wanted to, if you didn't want to do this, or if your seat sat really low and you couldn't get any space between here. But this is also gonna be the same way you're gonna wrap your harness around the bar. Around this, it's gonna come right back up, then through the loop that it comes through, it's gonna go back. Right back down. And now this is not gonna go anywhere. No matter how hard you pull on it, it's not gonna move. So you wanna just tighten this and then you can adjust it to be how long you want it to be. You don't wanna to be too short because otherwise it'll just be up in your legs the entire time. And you don't want it too long, otherwise it won't be any like use. So when you also do this, you want the words G-Force and all the SFI ratings to be out because the way that this is bent Otherwise, it's gonna be backwards and it's gonna feel weird, like, in your areas. When you're putting on the uh, six point or the planted and the sparkle brackets, they have these little tabs right here. So this is gonna go right here and you're gonna throw a bolt through it. Um, but because I'm gonna be using my OEM seat, um, seat belt, I'm gonna be taking this with the bolt straight through it and just lining it right up. And then a nut that I found that fits this is gonna go right on here and it's just gonna line up right here. The belt light won't be on because this isn't connected, so it won't be dinging because someone doesn't have their seatbelt attached, but the airbag light will be on. Um, so unfortunately, if you are like a stickler of not having stuff on your, um, on your dash, then you're gonna have to get resistors for it. I personally really don't care, and uh, so I really am not gonna do anything about that. So this is just gonna hold this in place, and now this lap belt is secured in place, and now I can still take the OEM strap and put it right down through here. So now this side is on nice and tight. Um, now I can use the OEM seatbelt if I want to uh, for the passenger side. But now for the other side of the passenger side, uh, we're gonna have to put the strap into the same thing. So I'm gonna put the seat into the car right now and then I'll put the other piece on. So you wanna make sure you don't scratch up your car or anything. It should be way easier to put this in than it was to take out the OEM seat because this is way lighter and not flexible. So when you put the cam lock in the seat, you obviously can't fit this big thing through. So trial and error, you're just gonna have to put this through this way. Uh, pretty simple. So I'm gonna do the same thing where I used the seatbelt bolt right here, and this in conjunction with the bracket itself to then get both of this, these to work. So I'm obviously just gonna have to tighten this down, but right now I can now use my OEM seatbelt. So if anyone wants to use this instead of putting the big six point on, uh, they can. So for this next part, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly wrap your harness around a harness bar if you have one. Um, if not, just stay tuned for a couple more minutes. I'm gonna show you guys how to attach it if you don't have a bar like this. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is when you get this, this piece is gonna be on there. You're gonna to wanna to take this off. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap around the top of this bar then through the first slit right here, you're gonna put the harness. So now it is attached to the bar itself. And then you're gonna slip it back through the second hole right here going down. So now it's wrapped around this totally. And then you're gonna take the excess and feed it right back through over the top of everything right here. So now this is not gonna go anywhere. I'm actually shaking the whole car trying to pull on this. 
Um, this is how GeForce recommends you do it as well. I'll show a picture really quick of the actual instruction guide where they show you how to do this if the video wasn't very uh, straightforward. Um, so this is also the same way that I put the six point belts on the bottom of the bracket. So this is the same way if you saw that before in the video. So if you guys don't have a harness bar or anything like that, um, I'm going to show you guys really quick how you can attach it to your actually baby seat clips inside the back seat. Obviously I don't have a back seat, so I really can't show you the little icon that's usually on the back of the seat, like right here, that shows you where these little anchors are for your baby seat. Uh, it's this little metal tab right here. So from G-Force, they make this little bracket that has this little like carabiner clip. So what you can do is you could fish it through. So what you can do is you could fish it through your back seat and latch it onto here. So now this is gonna be attached to where you would put a baby seat. Um, if you don't wanna put it low because you don't want the harness on more than a 45 degree angle, um, what you can do is actually, you can also latch it to the baby seat clip up here um, this will also fit in there. You might have to trim some plastic away, but I had mine on the floor. So depending on the car, you don't want the harness to be on a 45 degree angle or more because then it'll pull down on you if you get into an accident, which you don't want. You want it to just pull straight and stop you. So just a quick tip for you guys. When you guys are putting the lap belt and the uh, crotch strap in for the fifth or sixth point, you're gonna wanna make sure you adjust it outside of the car. You're gonna wanna sit in the seat with the uh, bracket in on the outside of the car so that way if it's not long enough or it's too long you guys can adjust it before you put it in the car because imagine putting it in the car realizing that it's not long enough and then having to then adjust it pull the seat out and then realize again once it's back in the car that's still not the right length so definitely do it outside of the car it's going to save you a lot of time it's going to save you a lot of scars on your fingers so I'm going to quickly uh, now cut to me inside the car showing you guys the finished product so we got both seats in the car now both of the harnesses are set up, everything is good. I just have to do some little bit of adjustment, like you can see this piece right here is lower than this one, stuff like that. Um, both seats definitely feel good, they both fit. There's no collisions here, there's no collisions with the door, nothing with the console. So these Pro Car Drifter seats are definitely great for the Civic Si, this is the FG2. The FA5 will probably have a little bit more room, so you really won't have to worry about anything hitting. Um, the steering wheel is off right now, so I can actually so the steering wheel is off right now, um, I'm definitely going to need to be taking it off to get in and out of the car. I did move the seat slightly closer because everyone else that got in this car complained that it was a little too far back. So with this seat there is a good amount of headroom still. Uh, it is actually a little bit lower than the OEM seat and I could also take the brackets on the floor and shorten them a little bit because there's a little bit of wiggle room that I could still use. Um, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will get to you on there, or you can shoot me a DM on Instagram. Uh, any questions about the seat, the installation process, the harnesses that I use, anything like that. Um, like I said, these are the G4 six-point harnesses, the Pro Car by Scat drifter seat. This is the auto power uh, roll cage. Any questions about the install on this, the seats, the harnesses, the roll cage that I have, anything like that, feel free to reach out to me. I will always answer you guys. There's no such thing as stupid questions. Um, also with the steering wheel setup that I have, it does help with you getting in and out of the car, giving you some extra room for your legs and stuff like that. We'll see you guys in the next video.